the FDA has just paused the clinical trials of these two new HIV treatments, GS-1720 and GS-4182, after unexpected safety concerns emerged. This decision affects both early stage and advanced studies that were exploring these drugs either individually or in combination. GS-1720 is a new kind of long-acting integrase inhibitor, while GS-4182 is a modified version of lenacapavir, a well-known capsid inhibitor. Together, they were being tested in once-weekly pills, part of the WONDERS trials, designed to help both people who are newly diagnosed and those switching from daily treatment. But then came the red flag. Some participants started experiencing a drop in their CD4 T cell counts and overall lymphocyte counts, the very immune cells that help the body fight infections. This triggered serious concerns, and without knowing which of the two drugs was responsible, the FDA decided to hit pause. What's strange is that linacapavir, the base of GS4182, has already been used safely in other large-scale trials for both HIV treatment and prevention. So why is this version causing issues? It's not the first time we've seen this kind of problem. In 2021, Merck's HIV drug Ilatravir was also paused when similar immune cell drops were noticed. Later, they discovered the doses were simply too high. When the dosage was adjusted, trials resumed and the drug re-entered the development pipeline. That drug too is now being studied in combination with lenacapavir. This suggests that what's happening with GS1720 and GS4182 might not be the end of the road. It could just be a speed bump on the path to something revolutionary. Gilead says they're fully committed to investigating what went wrong. In their statement, they said they intend to pursue the potential of both agents and are working closely with regulatory bodies to resolve the issues. Importantly, this pause only affects these specific trials. Gilead has many other long-acting HIV treatments still in development, including pills and injections designed for weekly, monthly, and even twice a year dosing, and those are not impacted. This matters deeply. Long-acting treatments are not just convenient, they're life-changing. For many people, especially in parts of the world where taking daily medication is difficult, this innovation could mean better adherence, less stigma, and a higher quality of life. While setbacks like this are frustrating, they are also a necessary part of ensuring safety. Every drug must go through this scrutiny. It's how science protects people. But with every pause comes a wait. And for the millions living with HIV, time matters. The hope now is that the issue is manageable, like the dose adjustment with Ilatravir, and that GS720 and GS4182 can eventually return to the pipeline stronger, safer, and more effective. We'll keep watching this story as it develops because the outcome could shape the future of HIV treatment. If you care about real breakthroughs, not hype, and want to follow every major step in the journey toward a functional cure or better treatment, this is the place to be. Subscribe now and turn on the bell because this isn't the end of the story. It's just the next chapter. And if you haven't already, check out our last video about a groundbreaking therapy that saved a baby from a deadly genetic disorder.